Welcome. <laughs> you hyped it up so much. Oh my god! Welcome back. <laughs> you hyped it up so much. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Dude, I wasn't oh, prepared for that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love it. All right, cool. Uh, welcome to our first episode of 2023. And 2023. Our- Woo! Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yes. Oh man, so many things to deliver. So much information to share. Okay, now we ended 2022, a lot of things happened in 22. We're gonna do some things where we kind of do a little summary of 2022. Before we look back at 2022, let's, uh, a little thanks to our sponsor, our sponsor uh, for today, Premium, your go-to place for tax preparation online or in person. Open uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. If you need help with your tax preparation, we are there available for you. Cost, uh, cost uh, management support, if you're interested in that, if we're interested in that, we have some support with the insurance brokerage, we have support with regards to um, uh, entrepreneur memberships that allow you to get exclusive pricing and things of that nature with professionals in the area. So it allows for time and saving uh, opportunities, all right? Now, our, house, our co-host, Mr. Ha Jacinto Aguanile, <laughs> and our flash guest, uh, flash episode number 10, Miss Liliana Del Valle and Ms. Mesha Talat. Mesha Talat. Talat. Thank you guys so much for having us. Yes. Thank you very much for stopping by on this Splash episode. These are challenging, but they're also very strategic. And the nature of the of the of the uh, communication is so that we can all have some local professionals yes. sharing information. Yes. That in the battle of exposure, sometimes it gets lost. It does. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so um, now uh, let's see. Now keep this in mind. This is an, uh, another layer with regards to the amount of content that we are providing in the sense that we are mm-hmm. adding uh, some sound uh, situations. Um, it, it kind of makes it more complicated. Your mind has to grab you know, several more aspects of stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So uh, our host, our co-host, Mr. Ha Asinto. Yep, yep, yep. We're here. We're yes, live and yes. direct. We have all of our, our noises available Thank now. Yes, so yes. It's not just... Ooh, noises like what? Beep, 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 like that. Mm-hmm. You know one of those? Uh, you know what? I'm going to make that. That's yeah. a good point. I forgot about that one. I can just do it with my mouth. Yeah, that's how I do it. If we could get a little bit of a sound effect when I introduce from Montrose Skin Club. Montrose Skin Club. Okay. <laughs> now, now, some questions on the intro because it's a flash episode. It's also an intro episode. We take the opportunity to, to slow down because mm-hmm. we go so fast, so many clicks, yeah. so many things. And it's, yeah. take the opportunity to slow down a little bit so that the communi- communication comes out clear. Yes. And so feel free to raise your hand. Like, I'll, I'll say, oh, hold on, I, had something. <laughs> I lost it uh, as we uh, do the intro and we share folks uh, the information. Is that cool? Tell us a little bit about yourselves, about um, Montrose Skin Club, what you guys uh, can provide with regards to information for our audience. So we are at Montreal Skin Club. We are two young female entrepreneurs. Okay. We started in September 2020. Okay, and September 2020. Yes, right okay. after the lockdown was Perfect lifted. Perfect timing. In the middle of the pandemic. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Good for y'all. That's amazing. Thank you. We That's actually amazing. opened two weeks after getting our esthetician license, which is not mm-hmm. ideal for people in our industry. Okay. It's not the... Is that, that not the usual thing to do? No. Uh, we just two questions. <laughs> Why is it not ideal? I'm just curious. And then the other question is, you started... Um, with, uh, this, define your level of experience versus your level of like the uh, the job starts. Sometimes people like go yeah. somewhere else and get some experience. I go, man, right, I think it's right. better, you know? So, so that elaborate the, on that. That is the traditional route. You get your license okay. and then you get a bit of experience working at certain places and then maybe you decide, okay, I, I think I can do this on my own. I want to take that journey. I want to take this venture. We just jumped the gun and went yeah, right into it. We did. We had a lot more excitement and drive and ambition than we had experience. I and see. I think that carried that's lovely. that carried the beginning of our business for sure. Okay. That's okay. lovely. I love that. Have you ever heard of Dolomite? Dolomite. No. I know y'all haven't. It's, I think it's, I have. it's on uh, it's on Netflix right now. It's an Eddie Murphy movie. Yes, it's yes, a, it's yes. about this dude named Dol- Dolomite. He was that's not his real name. That was like his fake name. Yeah. But anyway, this dude created a character in the seventies before it was like a thing to create characters. Back then it was just like action movies and like romance movies. It was like, that was it. Mm -hmm. He was the first one to like try to like cross bridge uh, action with comedy, with like crazy silly stuff. So he even created his own genre. Anyways, I'd say that to say this, he had zero talent, zero. And he was like (laughs) a big fat, just ugly guy. And, and, And he would go into these studios and be like, 
passionate, like bugging them. Yes. They would just call the cops on him. He would bug <laughs> them so much. But zero talent, all heart. And then he created this thing, made millions of dollars, and also created all of these avenues for other black actors who now are like killing it in the game and have created all these other. But it had to start from someone just like, I got to do this. Yes. I, I don't care what anybody tells me. I'm making it happen. Yes. That's what I love about that. I actually call that... Crackhead energy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we should title this episode no. Crackhead Energy. I think so. I think so. <laughs> we definitely go through revisions of titles. Let me go test it. Let's it's test it. it. Oh, look at the sound. I think somebody would read it and be like, hmm, what's this about? Yeah. It's my trademark that. We need to copyright that we can, first. We can definitely work something out with regards to that. This is this whole experience is about learning new things and yes. learning new ways to create the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the exposure. Yes. Right? The exposure that we're looking for. So those are the words, cracking. Exactly. So now then we go, then the next episode is, why everybody clicking on that button? <laughs> <laughs> and then we investigate that, but that's another episode. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So in a little bit of your history in your uh, business, what would you say is your experience? Are you happy with the way things are going? Are you like excited of the next time, uh, the next year, things of that nature? Uh, so sh share with us those thoughts so, and those, like, a little bit of those experiences that you guys have had. We are two years into business and two years into being estheticians. This is actually a picture that we took on the very first day that we opened, September okay. 14th, 2020. Uh -huh. At that time, we had not done a real facial on real clients. Only people at our school, but that's for free because as yeah. a student, you can't charge. What do you practice on? Like animals? Like dogs? No. or <laughs> our moms. Oh, on people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, was, I thought like, come on, man, humane. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> humane. Some humane episode. Oh, yeah. maybe like a no, dummy. No, animals were harmed in the... <laughs> no, no, no. No. And coming up in my career. <laughs> 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 in school, we would practice on mannequins. We would okay. have mannequins oh, on see? each other. I, I knew, I see, I'm not crazy. Fair enough, fair yes, enough. in school, you would learn something in the morning, go to lunch, and after lunch, you would practice on each other. Okay. Yeah, wow. it was very hands on. Very, yeah. very hands on. Okay, good. It's a one year program, and um, we were in school during the pandemic. So, you know, March 2020 was when the city shut down. We were right. in school, yeah. and our school was in person. So, it was pretty devastating and just unexpected. Yeah, like we're finally in school for something that we're passionate about, that yeah. we love, we really look forward sure. to going yeah. there every single sent day. Home. Yeah. And we just go, we go on spring break and we never return. Wow. So that uh, took away from us our hands on experience. Sure. At the time, I was 18 years old. And. I do this thing where I used to do this thing where I go on Indeed jobs and I apply for every job, even if I'm not qualified for it. I'll apply for like senior executive. Can I get some, please? Yes. I love that. Elaborate on that thought. Like, Listen to this senior executive. They made a movie about this. <laughs> like she calls me, movie. She calls me a little finesser. The ultimate just, finesser. Okay. She gets herself into situations that I'm like, Okay, you got it. Like I trust you. Like she just has more balls than anything. Okay. Yeah. So I, w even though I'm a student, I'm looking at like spa jobs. I find this listing for this spa in the Galleria, and I apply for it. And they reach out to me. They're like coming for an interview, and I'm mm. like, okay. Are you maybe a good communicator when you write? You're like a good writer, so your people pay you. Very like, much oh, so. Mm -hmm. gotcha. I. I was telling Hasito the other day, People, I don't like to be skill. underestimated. Is, so you. the way I present myself uh, is very important to me because you need to take in what I'm saying, not just, oh, she must be a young person, yeah. she must be irresponsible, this and that. No, mm -hmm. I am exactly what I present to you in your face. I, I think she definitely has an ability to oversell herself, oversell our business. <laughs> and that's how we really started by faking it till we make it and just yes. hiding behind the name Montrose Skin Club yes, because it was yes. so established. Okay. So it's yeah. just, it was too. So who came up with that, that, that name process? That name Me, oh, I came nice. up with it. And the way um, we work, the way we operate is I'm the visionaire and she's the executor. I see. Okay. So I run all of my ideas by her pure reaction. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. So if she comes and tells me, hey, this and this and that, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But if she comes and tells me this and that, and I'm like, oh my God, yes. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. If it's not that reaction, she knows, okay, she didn't like it. Like, no. Okay, go back, yeah. back to the drawing board. Go yeah, present something sure. else. Exactly. Go so present something else. <laughs> we're in 2020. The school gets shut down. I get this spa job as a student, unlicensed. Yeah, unlicensed. And I bring her in as well. 
So we felt so cool. Everyone from our class is at home depressed, yeah. and we're here running a whole Galleria day. Love spa. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, the owner of the spa ended up being corrupt. Uh, definitely took advantage of our uh, eagerness. Our eagerness. Uh, our, incentives. You know, uh, um, there's a word uh, when you want to go first with initiative. Initiative. Yes, yes, eager. Yes. I feel you know communication right. and, and language and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Eager is such a word that is like oh, but initiative is such a ah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it be, sometimes because you have initiative, people are like eh, and it's like oh, just exactly. I have an initiative. You know, she did take advantage of our initiative. She our did. youth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, long story short. Yeah. Even though she did take advantage of us in the end, we really won. It's not about winning yeah. losing. You learn. You have exactly. Good exactly. We Getting were that. exposed yeah. to the blueprint and yeah. we made it our own. We would do her cash flow. Yeah. We would do her inventory. I mean, we would do yeah. set up her rooms. So you now y'all know how to do this on your own. So real Love quickly, it. we realized that we were the only employees and we're just two unlicensed besties. I was yeah. an yeah. 18 year old, like just <laughs> okay. yeah. there in this fancy spa yeah. that I'm like, how? Oh, wow. So this nice. is something. This is intriguing because this is a lesson across the board for the manager or the person of the owner that, that was like, oh, what happened? It's like, well, you, you undervalued us or you overvalued us yeah. and then you left it around and then it was like, you gave us it. For sure. So, I mean, there's always opportunities to create more growth actually strategically. Yeah. But sometimes, absolutely. I guess, sometimes it's like the door's closed. It's like, well, you left the door closed. <laughs> you you yeah. closed the door. <laughs> Having had that inside look, we that was enough to give us the confidence to do it even if we didn't have the whole blueprint even if yeah. we didn't know exactly how to do it she came to me and was like hey that lady did us wrong but me oh, and you, I mean, oh, we can interesting. we okay. can we can do okay. this together okay I would she, say, yeah. she was the one who came to me and was like i see me and you doing it like this doing it like that okay. this and that and exactly what she told me that same day, I went onto Google. Did you write it down? Up, how day? to do it all? Oh, okay. How cool. to start a business yeah. in Texas? Oh, cool. How also, to file for also, you guys went through that process. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, but the but, idea snowballed so quickly. Right. I got you. I got so you. ridiculous. She, she just quickly. had the idea, told me about it, and the next day, I was like, okay, I filed for our business license oh, and our name yeah. and this and that. Look at you. Exactly. Cool. So that's part of the process that our membership uh, program uh, helps with, supports right. with. Yeah. There are some folks that are maybe not as agile. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're like, man, how? And it may take them a month, two months, even. Yeah. To, so this membership allows for them to go, man, I want to do it. You click it, you activate, and so you kind of move the awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So it puts that support where it's like, hey, you said you click it, you pay for it, and it's a low uh, uh, barrier of entry. So it's like, hey, it gives you a little bit of support so that you don't have to kind of go on That's on really incredible because, like, some of our strengths and weaknesses is I hate paperwork, documentation, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. I um, love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very yin and yang, but yeah. not everyone gets that. Correct. So the membership is perfect. On, top of, that, on that. top of that, there may be times where you may need support on other angles, uh, which, which are... Yes. Which our membership includes. Yes. For yeah. example, uh, we're including an, the next time we added a member, we said we're going to uh, include a workout, for right. example, just for just for a singular time, once a month maybe or something like this. We have a certified uh, trainer. He's got about like twenty something 20 years. Twenty something years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, correct. So it's yeah. it's valuable information that is like, oh, you only need it once a month. You get information. Oh, because I have initiative, I can get it on my own. Some people may want more. You know what I mean? That's very but this is just so you can get uh, more resources and things of that nature. And all of the memberships include support for your tax preparation. We will even file it for you, correct? Thank you. That's and no incredible. additional cost. <laughs> yeah. Tax seasons <laughs> really get I tax. know. Hey, don't let it get to y'all. We <laughs> got a membership. Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> guys, our first year in business, at that point, I'm, we're, I'm like 20, uh, 19, 20, you are like 21, 22. 22. Yeah. It was my first time doing taxes as an adult, mm. to be honest. And okay. it, it, it we made profits, so yeah. we had to pay. And yeah. I was it hit like, hard, oh my right? God. It hits hard. Yeah. I yeah. never had to pay for taxes a day in my life. We well, learned a lot. So. You learned a lot, yeah. correct. This is an expansion so that you can learn even more yeah. before you make it where you're like, yeah. oh, it cost me, I didn't know. That's and important. So this, you guys would help a lot because yeah, we're yeah. still learning. Good, good. So yeah. that's part is to shorten the time that it took for this experience that we've had for so long. Whereas, like, by the way, if you do it like this, woo, you save a lot of time. You know what I mean? Uh, so these are just some things of the, of the, of the, uh, that we include in this value add. Okay. That's awesome. All right, cool. Can I just say, hold on, it is something special because I feel like, and, and don't forget folks out in YouTube land, you can oh, move that's around. That's right. Oh, we're learning this. Yeah. Oh, we're oh, 14 minutes. Oh, don't forget, don't don't forget, forget. folks, no, now check out the room. Feel free to look around. We have their website up here. But I just right. wanted to say, I got to give a shout out 
to all the ladies out there. Look at these young women doing things special because here's what it is. There is actual study. You can Google this. I don't know the exact numbers. I'm going to throw it off the top of my head. Sure. But there is a study. Yeah, there is a there is a study out there that shows that most women, it's like, it's, I forgot the numbers, but I want to say like 90% of men will apply for anything even if they're way underqualified. Mm. 20% of women, gotcha. it's, like, it's like way down here, will do yeah. the same. It's like women have this like, oh, I, 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 I don't qualify for that. I won't even apply. Right. But it's if you just go for it, you never know what you're going to get. When I was managing a fitness uh, wellness center, I would my very best employee who is now the manager. He came in and T-shirts and T-shirt and jeans and holding a Starbucks cup. It's like, hey, what's up, bro? And I'm like, oh, no, yeah, I'm not going to hire this guy. But I'll let, him, I'll let him interview. So, you know, and he blew me away. No experience. No certifications. Yeah. So what do I do? I help him get his certification. I help him take his test so he can start. And then yeah. we go. And now yeah. he is the manager. The other ones yeah. who did have a degree, who had this one guy had a doctorate. Oh. And he was our worst trainer. <laughs> worst. And I'm like, how do you have a doctorate and you're hurting people and or showing up late, not yeah. being professional, doing mm -hmm. all these things? And this guy here showed up in a t-shirt and jeans. It's like, I don't know if I could do this, but I'm, I'm, I'm down. I was like, what? So everybody out there, if there's something that you want to do, if something you're passionate about, even if there's something you think you might want to be interested in, go try, go for it because you never know. Look at these young ladies right Absolutely. here. I love that. Absolutely. Thank you. What you were saying reminds me of when we closed on our first location. Um, we weren't even looking. When we, was this? When year was this? 2020. 2020. So this is oh, everything wow. happened very Everything. Wow. Ha that's what I mean by everything, everything happened in snowball. A lot of decision making. We yes. we passed our state board exam. August 25th. And it was iconic because it was exactly one year from the day we met. So everything just felt full circle. Wow. Um, and at that moment, I told her like, hey girl, rack up your own money so we could have our own spot so nobody could do us like that ever again. She said, Maisha, I already found a location, but I don't. I didn't know if we were ready or not. So this location, it found us. Oh, my nice. mom, my mom, she is a surgical tech. She works in the medical center. One of her colleagues had posted a, a listing for a commercial space for mm. estheticians. Mm. She told me about it, and I was like, I don't know, mommy. <laughs> she, she, I told her about it. As soon as I told her, she was like, tell them we want it now. Yeah, it was like a yes. chain of command. Like mm -hmm. we had to reach back out to her mom. Her mom had to reach out Whoa, to her okay, friend. Okay. Her friend had to reach out to his friend. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. So finally, I get into contact with the tenant and I'm talking to the tenant and they're like, okay, what do you do? And I'm like, yeah, we're Montreal Skin Club and we do facials and we do this and that. We've never done a facial before. Oh yeah, love it. At that moment, all we had was equipment and yeah. equipment that I just so happened to buy with my waitressing salary every week in the right. summertime. Didn't know what I was getting ready for, but I knew I wanted to have all my own equipment. Right. Um, and then, so everything just fell into place accordingly because we found the location. Yeah. Yeah. I had the equipment. Yeah. We had yeah. each other. We had the name. All that was left was the clients. Yes. We had everything but yes. clients. The tenant was like, I like what you guys uh, got going on. The tenant or the uh, landlord? Tenant, because there's a landlord to the tenant. Yeah. So um, they were like, come by, come see the space. We go, we oh, immediately fall in love. We yeah, fell in true. love. It was, we um, knew we wanted it. It was an we unconventional really space. Yeah, in sure. Montrose, we have a lot of small homes turned into businesses. Are y'all mm -hmm. familiar with those types yeah. of yeah. yeah. So yeah. Downstairs yeah, area. is a bridal boutique, and upstairs is us. Gotcha. We shared the space with the eyelash mm -hmm. technician. Tell you yes. what, uh, there's a school down the street of a West Great called the Wharton Dual. Yes, Academy. right across yes. from there. Yes, yes. yes. Gotcha. It's right, right in front of that yeah. school. So I'm a big supporter of that school. Oh, oh really? I love yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So there's actually an event coming up there where you guys, if you guys want to uh, send something out, it'll create exposure for that school. Nice. Of That's course. Right. Right. All right, cool. So I'll send you guys an email about that. Yeah. Multiple yeah. opportunities yeah. coming across the board. All right. I love that. Yeah, yeah so we saw the space, fell in love. Um, the tenant really like kind of checked us out you know um heard us out we told her that yeah we've been doing mobile services all summer yeah, you, know? you know we do this and she was like okay when do y'all want to start we look at each other we're like uh two weeks yeah <laughs> i don't know how we collectively both decided on two weeks but we did and then after we were left we just were like she oh. drafted up the lease and she's like okay you'll start september 14th and we're like okay we get out and we get into the car and we scream and we're like, <laughs> like yeah, we're doing this this is for real yeah and then things started moving real quickly how does how does uh, where are your your classes and your licenses and all this stuff while well, this madness is going on 
Our li- um, what do you mean? Your licenses. For oh, your- we got yes. our license. That's what I'm saying. When yeah. is this happening? You guys are going, oh, rent. Yeah. Oh, who's studying what? You're going they to were doing it at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. August 25th, yes. we get the license. Keep this in mind. It's because it's just information, yeah. right? Yeah. And the person is receiving it is, hold on. Yeah. Give me a timeline. So, for uh, when you said this, to the time you registered for this, okay, to okay. the time you did this, because it's a sequence of events that kind of gets like, okay, well, yeah. hold on. Just so you folks can go, you know what? Yeah. I'm interested in doing something. Let's take give it me, give me everything you school. did in this in this amount of time yeah. Yeah. so that we can so that I can. So, I think give the right. timeline began the day we laid eyes on each other. It was honestly <laughs> okay. love at first sight okay. of my yoga fit scrubs. We, yeah. <laughs> yes, we, so we started school in August of 2019. We finished May. 2020 by August 2020 we got our license and two weeks later we opened up the business on September 14th nice. yeah I love it yeah. it's just rolling it's a bunch gotcha. of craziness but it there is, is no because there's there's separate timeline situations yeah. that you have to put together yes and if anyone is like no nah, delay it, 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 it uh, delays you in time yes which is delays in opening and on top of that it delays you potentially in client acquisition after you've already opened doors right you know what I mean um, okay okay intense okay so now you, got, you guys are two years in through pandemic times Okay. Yes, today we are, and today we feel so confident about where we are. We really set the foundation these past two years, um, and it's just steady growth from here, and we see this, like, for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Today we're extremely proud to have five stars on Google, five oh. stars on Yelp, wow. and yeah. a platform called ClassPass. Nice, we work very hard for that, and yeah. you guys know more than anything, reviews don't lie. Mm-hmm. Anytime you want to go somewhere, you're looking at the reviews, seeing what yep. people are saying. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. lie. People name drop us. Yeah. They talk about exactly what it is that they like. They talk about our skills, our results. No, there's even been them. lawsuits for people who have not done the five-star review and or on top of it, tried to mess up a business by mm-hmm. giving them a zero star like people have been sued for that because it's such a significant um, part of yes. business I don't understand that hater energy me and this girl we feel like there's the city is so populated yeah. and there's enough for everyone yes. and we know exactly what sets us apart so we don't need feel the need to compete with other women we empower other businesses we love seeing other female oh, entrepreneurs we have set Say up it. other women to set up their own education yes. business as well uh, we have an apprentice we've influenced two young women into opening their own business and I let uh, my apprentice shadow me mm-hmm. and cool. I feel so mm-hmm. fortunate like that I get to give that back yeah. even though we're early on we want to pass the torch at any point in business yeah. that we're at the businesses actually move they shift they evolve yeah. you know yeah. what I mean so you may you may you may want that shit where it's like, you know what? We already have, we've set up a, a, a good foundation for support for all the institution mm-hmm. types. But there's new needs now. Yes. There's new stuff coming yes. out. I kind of, you know, I'm okay with passing, like you mentioned, other businesses so that they can handle. And then I can do the other things, experience yeah, new stuff and do new absolutely. things. You know? So you just have to be not, be okay with that. Be okay with yeah. that, with, with, with that process, you know? How fun. Okay, cool. Now, I love your website, by the way. And I love, I love the setup. Who made this website? Me. Oh, yes. look at that. Bonus. <laughs> I love it. Shout out to Selena. So why did you throw that Selena picture in there? Um, th- I believe this was on her birthday. Okay. And it definitely, we made it to fit the aesthetic of our page. As you guys can see, we have a lavender type of theme going I on. I see that, yeah. Um, I learned a lot about branding uh, when we first started. And in the things that I learned, I came, t- I came to her and I told her about what I learned. And I told her, listen, our brand presence has to be strong. When people think about Mancho Skin Club, they have to think about specific things. So lavender is one of those things. Yeah. And if you guys don't know, lavender, when uh, the eye perceives the color lavender, it uh, brings about a calming energy, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. Yep. So lavender is definitely perfect for what we do in business. I love yes. it. I just made a candle for my friend's birthday yesterday, a lavender mm-hmm. one for her. I, I need to tell you, I make candles. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, he didn't tell yeah, me. Yeah. This is the first. <laughs> right? uh, we can work it together for a minute. <laughs> 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 no, like, uh, that's the interesting part. I say, no, yeah, yeah. I kind of don't. <laughs> and, and, it's, I and, I, don't. And, I, and I looked it up because it's exactly that. Is that, I mean, I know a lot about um, essential oils and things like that, but properties. I also, yeah, definitely. But this particular friend of mine is very high strung. So mm-hmm. I was like, man, she needs to chill. Yeah. So I, I made her this lavender candle and I even made it lavender color because I can mess with the colors and stuff. So yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's beautiful. Okay. She actually reminds me of this picture right here in the corner. Hey, I love that. <laughs> so you see, we, we wouldn't cute up, cute Yana? things like that, yeah. you know, just like as a mood, you know. Yeah. It's <laughs> how we my way it. to the skin club, like this. <laughs> oh, I see. It looks like that. And when it, 
<laughs> you should have the after <laughs> picture with the clean fade yeah. and it's yeah, all yeah, like I clean. Guess, uh, I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, before after. I guess. You know. I will say one thing me and her really like about the way we present ourselves online is that we've taken a very modern approach. Yeah. If you do yeah. take a yeah. look at other uh, people's pages, because you know, as in business, you have to look at what everyone else is doing. Sure. So when we were looking at other people's pages, I wasn't giving too much personality or a solid giving, theme. Sure. So that's one thing that I think is pretty unique about us. Our uh, in our branding, it's pretty modern. You know, we include these pictures of the city, yeah. showing how that's proud right. we are. To you know what? That's exactly the, the same communications we're trying to do. Yeah. We're trying exactly. to communicate with regards to Houston. This is all mm -hmm. Houston based. Yes. Like, uh, uh, fist bump to Houston uh, business yes. owners. Go. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, you know, it's a big deal. It's a big. A lot of times, folks, I miss part of that extra step. Was this you have to the, go get the pictures. Was this during the go freeze or something? Yes. You know what I'm saying? The value. It was. You know, I'm like, oh, wow. like, hey, I went to extra level. Yeah, Look at pictures. that. Yes, absolutely. We have, a, we have a couple of photo shoots coming up. Oh, yeah, actually. Right. Yeah, correct, correct. We, just, well, we, we have a lot of events going on. We have, a, we have yeah. an interactive uh, um, events page where nice. people can go and select. So this, for example, this episode is on there so folks can go and maybe even register and be a guest or something of awesome. that nature, correct? Yeah, we're going to start having a studio audience. There's yeah. another thing that we've been Ooh. asking our, our fans what they want to see. Like yeah. People love our, our podcast, but sometimes they want to like actually be here. So we're like, oh, shoot. Not okay. only are we creating it, man, people demand a lot of us. Not only will they create the experience in interactive where they can mm -hmm. internally be here digitally in, uh, because mm -hmm. of the technology that we're using. Mm -hmm. Correct. You just have to have the Oculus and you will be, but no, they, oh no, but I want to physically also we have to do all of it. Which way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to, we have, we have some very heavy hitting comedians, yeah. some very um, important figures, some awesome. government officials, and it's really, really like NASA science, smart people. Yeah. And so not only do they, because sometimes they'll have questions yeah. and things that come up that yeah. we forgot to ask or yeah. didn't have the chance and to. And it's just different perspectives, yeah. which gives you another aspect of, of what's happening in reality. Oh, what? That could be affecting my business. I didn't know that. That's exactly. right. That's right. You make those connections. And, and I love how your, your your website is also very informative too. It's like you have information about aloe vera. Yes. You have information right. about uh, just different types of things that you can do. Not necessarily. I feel like a lot of um, every service these days yeah. are trying to just blast you with buy, buy, yeah. buy something. And don't inform you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah don't absolutely. inform you. Right? For us, it's very much. Um, selling Love ourselves as an esthetician. Yeah. In the beginning, we had to uh, build a lot of trust. Like, we're two young girls. I was yeah. just yeah. but 18, 19 years old. She was 21. And yeah. at that moment, our ideal clientele was like, perhaps like River Oaks women. Yeah. And to sell ourselves, like we had to, go, like thank God we were fresh out of school because the textbook was fresh in our head and yeah. we were almost reciting the textbooks yes. to our clients to prove how knowledgeable we were. We had a lot to prove in the very beginning. Well, it's because it's, a, it's and that's in every aspect. In yeah. Aspect. Because you don't have that reputation in the back. Yeah. And like, well, you know, my other person you or whatever. You know that. I know face. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, a lot of folks, you know, it's another big one with regards to that. A lot of folks go through a lot of trouble of minimizing the time mm -hmm. for that value to go, look, there's a, there's, a, there's a value there behind time. I know it may Absolutely. be quick. I know it may be an hour. But there's a value that we've condensed so that you can have the right steps so that you can mm -hmm. have the most value. So that, you know, the price shifts with regards yes. to that. You know, and people see you differently. If you check out some of our reviews, some people specifically say, I love how they explain every single step, every single detail. Mm. I know everything that's going on. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because it's you feel experience. like you, you're expecting something and they, they inform you. So by the time you finish, you, you got what you're expecting. Roberto, have you ever had a facial before? Um, I probably have. I just don't recall. You know, at the house, like a like a. a Your wife has never taken you to be like, hey, no, what you just, do I was with thinking me? Of, that's what caused me pause because we've yeah. done our nails and things of that nature. Okay, and man, I just don't recall actually going through this. I, you would have, you would have known because it's it's traumatic for me yeah. as a guy. Like oh, my really? first time doing it, it yeah. was. I've only done it one time, and it was my first traumatic. time. Which is your wow! Time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't want to ever do it again because oh of the situation. So now hearing y'all talk, I'm like, man, I should have gone to y'all. Yeah. Because she didn't do anything to me like that. Like y'all were talking. Uh -huh. it, it was just like she just laid me down and started sucking my face with that thing and I'm like, <laughs> and you know what it hurts it's, it's a what face is? sucker <laughs> <laughs> a face sucker. What is, so what is it? I don't know what it's called. It's dermabrasion, microdermabrasion. <laughs> That's better than face sucker. Yes, absolutely. The face sucker. Yeah. Yeah, AKA. Yeah, yeah. so she like, she like, let me, so she, first she does, y'all know, but she puts the mm -hmm. towel to loosen up my <laughs> face or whatever. Yeah. And then she has this machine that just starts sucking my face like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then like my face is all puffy and then oh, um, no. and then no, she's no. like uh I think she was in a bad mood that day and so she's oh. like so she's she like took it out on so you she's know. like yeah she's <laughs> like getting my Yeah.
So uh, this lady was sucking my face, and she's, and she's <laughs> sucking. Oh wait, with the machine. Machine was sucking my face, and she was holding. She wasn't sucking my face. That'd be a different. That's the next. Yeah, episode. Sure. <laughs> uh, a freaky in yeah. There. And so she's like, I hate you so much, and I'm like, What do you mean? She goes, I mean, I hate your skin. I don't hate you. She's like, I hate how your skin is so soft and perfect and nice. He's like. I do all these things to my skin, and she's like telling me all her problems, and I'm just like, what? Oh, she's like, I do all these things girl. to my face, and I do all these things to my skin, and I still have all these problems, and look at you, she's like, you've never ever done anything. I'm like, I just use soap, and she's yeah. like, and she's like, and look at your skin, it's so great, and I'm just like, wow, I want to leave so bad. Yeah, you know? what an so, ick. Yes, oh. exactly. Yeah. Honestly, that's very disheartening. Yeah. And we've had people come to us that are like, wow, you're so gentle and uh, you, you you are at my comfort level, making sure that I'm there. See? Whereas this other person was just digging. And I'm like, no, like when we do extractions, which is removing blackheads and things from the pores, we say, we're going to do extractions now. Please let me know if I apply too much pressure and I'll be more gentle. Oh, Not hell no. Yet. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone has the same Shoot. No, yeah. I don't. Not with my face. I've never had that done before. She yeah. should have been extra careful with me because I've never people, done it before. We get people that are like, yeah, get in there. I don't care how dig, how bad you got to dig. And painful. I'm like, okay. But there's people who t who are doing it for the first time. And if I, mm -hmm. like, they, they just mm -hmm. express to us, hey, it's a little too much. We're more gentle. And we, we accommodate to them. Our, our priority is obviously results, but relaxation and comfort as well. Amen yes. to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is it? What, why are you rubbing balls on this lady's face? Balls, <laughs> yes. These are glacial balls. <laughs> <laughs> we love, we love them. Me, mommy, when she comes and gets her facial, she'll be like, mommy, can you put the blue balls on my face? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'll be like, yes, mommy, I can do that. I got you, I got you. Yeah, this is cold is therapy. That? Oh. Yeah, so Ice we gloves. finish oh, okay. um, our facials with cold therapy. We begin using a lot of steam and hot temperatures to soften and open the pores. And then along the way, you know, we extract, we zap the pores clean, we fill them with really good products, and then we like to seal it all in with cold therapy. Oh. It helps to constrict the pores back up. It aids in lymphatic drainage. Ah. It's a great facial massage and a great facial exercise. Yes. Facial exercise? Yes. yes. The coolness is felt down to the facial muscles and they contract, uh, which is an exercise for the face. This can allow the uh, skin to be more firm and lifted. Okay. So wow. apply, cool, uh, apply cool pressure towards the, to the face. Now, does face. this work with any balls? Can I freeze any balls <laughs> and put them on a girl's face? Does it color it? Does it color it? Does it color it? <laughs> Color no, it has no to be blue. color doesn't matter. Oh, okay. We have pink ones and purple ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, awesome. Good to know. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Awesome. This is so now, good. 2022, because we're getting there, right? Don't forget, we're going through time. Yes. Through time. Yes, yes, yes. 2022, we have some, uh, our summary of 2022. Maybe share a little bit of your summary for 22. What did y'all do in 20? What happened in 2022? And then what's bringing y'all to where y'all You want right to know now? something crazy? In Ooh, 2022, yes. we actually had a very unexpected set, unexpected yes. setback. In February of 2022, beginning of the year, uh, we were in a commercial space in a downtown apartment building. I don't know if y'all know it, 1825 off San Jacinto. I do know that spot. Yeah, so uh, we were in a commercial suite in their um, parking garage. It was so um, so neat. Like, I, we love unconventional we spaces. We have street access as well. Street access and parking garage access. And the place was two stories. We had a lobby, bathroom, closet, so much. Um, and then the apartment building sold our amazing little business suite as a condo mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gave us... Mm -hmm. Condos. Gave us very short notice mm. to find a new spot. We basically got wow. kicked out. So yeah. now we are slightly defeated, but more so like, what are we going to do? Yeah. We got to figure this out right now. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. uh, another crazy part of this, we had a trip to California and Vegas planned in January, yeah. Yeah. which we were like, wow, okay. Are we going to cancel? Or are we going to go? This we're like, January? no, last oh, January. Last January. Yeah, okay. So, so last we were like, year. okay, I told her, let's go and let's come back and figure this out. So we yeah. did. Okay. We came back ready and equipped to figure it out okay. with that exact energy. Like, what is the solution here? Yeah. So uh, we were looking around at other spaces and we did come across our current space at Phoenix Salon Suites. It yeah. is off of Gray and Smith, not too far from Gray here. Gray and Smith. Yes. Yes. Write that down, folks. Gray and Smith. Yes. Okay. 2101 Smith Street. There it is. So, um, Look in the description folks we're gonna put the link we're gonna put the yes. address we were able to um, subscribe <laughs> subscribe is that where it's going or is it oh, wherever <laughs> it's going everywhere 
<laughs> it was the next best thing, to be honest. They are super flexible. Yes. We were able to get in as soon as possible and just start working again. Mm. So through 2022, we have been looking at commercial properties because although it's working out very well over there at Phoenix, um, we just have a bigger vision for ourselves. True. We didn't do this for two years to downsize. True. Yes. Um, and we're so ready to offer job opportunities, um, let other people sublet their business within hours. The um, way we did. Yeah, and so we've been property hunting all year, and it's been fun. It's been a challenge, but we're we be, we'll just be driving down the street and randomly break and get mm -hmm. out and take pictures of the building right there because it says for lease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've really taken matters into our own hands. We yeah. did this right before we walked into. Yeah. 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 We're on foot with it. Like. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So it's exciting to see. I mean, we're still on that journey, but. Sure you know, we're wiser within okay. our um, property hunting yes. journey too. I will say this space has allowed us to become more practical. Yes. With our two previous locations, we were spoiled. We, we were. had space, we had lobbies, closets, yeah, sure. like yeah. in an aesthetic environment, uh -huh. you can only have what you need for the service. Anything yeah. else is junk, it's trash. It doesn't need to be there. Uh -huh. so, you know, you have to be practical. So moving into the salon suite, it is a smaller size than we were used to. So we were like, okay, we can only have things that we need for the service and a couple of our furniture, some things we had to like let go of in order to fit our things into sure. here. So now when we do get around to getting into this new space, we will only have what we need in these rooms, yeah. in our space, nothing more, nothing less. And that's something y'all had to learn the hard way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. For we're sure. spoiled. I'm not going to lie to y'all. We were spoiled. Like uh, our first two locations, if you think about it, we did not lease them ourselves we, we sublet, sublet. Mm. Mm. but we were able to kind of play it off that and right. that's actually right. a secret weapon into like having a new business and starting is subletting in established businesses already find yeah. a good location find a business that will allow you to set up shop within them and now you look like you've been out here it looks like you have the experience yeah. it, you don't look fresh out of school anymore because you have the location. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so you guys have two locations, is that right? So we have one location, but we've had two previous locations. Oh, I see. I see. Gotcha, before gotcha, this, gotcha. we started off of Montrose and West Gray, moved to 1825. Got it. Got it. And got now it. we're off of Smith and Gray. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Y'all yeah. like that particular, I mean, obviously, because it's the Montreal Skin Club, you want to yes, keep it close to that of area. Of course. I, you're going to create different skin clubs for like yes. different That's parts That's a of great town? idea. Um, I used to think, what a name. I could do Woodland Skin Club, exactly. Memorial Skin Club, Miami Skin Club, Maui I was, Skin Club. I was about Club. to say LA. You know, we could have a lot of fun with it, but I am so passionate about Montrose. I don't think I would ever change it. I think I'd like to put Montrose on the map yeah. and keep it Montrose Skin Club wherever right. I go. And yeah, bring the value this way. Yeah. As opposed to like spread around. Spread around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually an interesting thought. Definitely yeah. worth discussing. What I have a lot you? of love okay. for Montrose. Whenever she mentioned she found a location in Montrose, I jumped on it because of how I perceived it growing up. You know, my friends would steal their mom's car and pick me up and we'd go to Montrose and take pictures with the graffiti balls. <laughs> yeah. That's how I spent my teen years. Yeah. So I wanted That's to awesome. be, I, w I just wanted to be in the culture, <laughs> in the mix. I love it. Another big thing about 2022 was our personal development and growth. Okay. In, yes. Last year in 2022, I did turn 21 years oh, old. And um, I will say um, the amount of progress and success we had in the first year was really great, really unexpected. Yes. In 2022, it was about the same, not more, but I was telling her the other day, like, even though we didn't progress more than we did the last year, our personal growth did way yes. more. And at times, uh, you really have to sit back and remember that if you're not doing good in your own personal life, your business is not going to thrive. And I'm so big on that. Whatever needs to be done in order for me to be okay, for me to perform well, I would do it, whether that's self-care, um, taking days off with her, you know. Um, yeah. Um, this past year, we actually was were able to allow ourselves to have hobbies and new passions. Yes. What? Yeah. Uh, you were actually a human for a little while? Yeah. So was I, so was I. Yeah. For a little while. No, you weren't. Now, and now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this now. That's an awesome hobby. Yeah. We have taken up roller skating. Wow, okay. Yes. Oh, cool. roller skating. Okay. Yes. We were just talking about that. No, several times. Hey, we're starting several a times. We really are starting a yeah. movement. A lot of our little girlfriends got some skates mm. and like meet us up at the yeah. roller rink at Buffalo Which Bayou. Which one? The one in Buffalo Bayou? Oh, okay. I okay. love skating at Buffalo Bayou. Okay. Um, and we had to build a lot of courage yeah. to skate yeah, there yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Why? So very, it's not easy. Yeah. No, oh, I thought you meant because it's, it's like dangerous or something. Well, a little bit if you're not skilled. As, oh, but I meant because of like 
people. You, no. You're talking about your skate skills. That's yeah. Different. yeah, yeah, that's different. Yeah, yes. I gotcha. Yeah, Look at I these before and after pictures, man. These are amazing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. This is of our in deepa service, our body contouring. We have a that. machine that's mm-hmm. powered by radio frequency. It's all about skin rejuvenation, so it does help with cellulite, loose skin, wrinkles, fine lines. Is this the face sucker? No, no, this is a different one. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's called the Indiva. Indiva, yeah. It's um, like a European technology. It's non-invasive. So yeah, look at this. This was people. in 30 minutes. Can you believe that? That's the before and after. Yeah. Wow. So you can either go pay thousands to get a neck lift, or you can come to us, do it in some sessions, and have the same result, and yeah. not have to go under the knife. Look how this roll is like gone. You see? Thank you. This is the first session, too. All these pictures are the first 30, 30 minutes. minutes session. 30 minutes. And I tell my clients, this is a workout for you and me. Yes. Because as I'm doing this, I'm breaking a sweat. Really? The yeah, results the last machine. with good diet and exercise. Gotcha. So it's on you. Yes. So it's, it's a mommy makeover on the low. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a yeah, collaboration effort all the way around. Yeah. And that's another one, right? Diet and exercise being a huge yes. part of it. Because I feel like um, people spend a lot of, I think it's like a billion dollar industry, all, all of the products. But people, I feel like, put all this stuff on. But I'm like, how how thin is that skin layer versus what's inside exactly. pushing out, right? So if exactly. your nutrition and everything to keep your hydration yes. levels. On the topic of that, 2022 was really big for our fitness and nutrition. Last okay. year, I did lose 15 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Um, from the start of 2022, I was 160 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I didn't like it. I was not comfortable with that. Mm-hmm. So I was, I decided to do my own research and nutrition and fitness. I went on a calorie deficit. I no, was counting my no, calorie, deficit. calorie deficit. That is where you burn more calories than you are intaking. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. I was counting my calories, my macros, protein, carbs, fat intake, all of that. And I have been able to lose those 15 pounds. Yeah. And, uh, Me and this girl fast. have very healthy competition. So I see her dropping a little bit of weight and I have to get on it too. Sure, love it. Yeah. So because of that, we got into a lot of really cool things like hot yoga. Yes. Hot yoga is good. Yeah. What are you going for the hot yoga? Black Swan. Oh, Black really? Swan. But if you guys cool. have yeah. Any other suggestions or we're open to I trying. used to go to yoga works of about uh, 2100 Travis but they closed it down oh, that was a okay. the yeah. black swan next to the the, the juice line um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're all next to a juice line, oh, except for the uh, downtown one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Fannin one. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so cool. 2022 was, uh, as you can see, a lot of personal developments in our personal lives so yeah. that we can come together and continue to evolve the business. Gotcha. So not so much business growth, but a lot of personal growth. Gotcha. We got to travel this past year. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yeah. That's we another did. thing that 2022 was about. Where did y'all go? Um, we went to um, Cali and Vegas. and Vegas twice. We did uh, like two trips of that. What part of Cali? LA? LA. Mm-hmm. Um, and we went then to Cancun. Cancun in June. Cool. That was the nice. theme. Nice. In June. Nice. That was the nice. theme for sure. And those were just iconic trips to us because it felt like we were reaping the rewards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like um, a mental reset. And allowing us to be in our youth because we're always trying to grow up a little too quick to be businesswomen. Um, so it's nice to like find that balance. It's um, a little bit of a dilemma to be so young doing this because we have to remind ourselves we are young, we're still learning. But then it's like, no, like this business will only thrive if you are here putting in the work every day, you know. Yeah. So it's like a little bit of that dilemma mm-hmm. of giving ourselves grace, giving our young selves balance. grace, but not yeah. too much. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. I am our biggest critic. You know, I'm the one like applying a lot of pressure and um, and that's what built us. But yeah. also it's like um, it's healthy to step away and be nice to yourself. Yes. When I met her, I was just 18 years old and I was very reckless and chaotic. Yes. Very. I was 21 and I was a little uptight. She was I had, very strict. Yeah, I was very strict. And it's it's so funny how we met in the middle. Yes. Yeah, so nice? Yeah. There were a lot of things about me that she was like, listen. You need to cut that out. If if not, like, and I was like, damn, she mattered to me that I much. Love that I was so like, so much. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, yo, another another message to all our people out there. I'm getting really close to the camera way too much, but look, <laughs> but look, <laughs> seriously, a bit in here. friends <laughs> need to lift each other up. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, let me yeah. and let me tell y'all something. As y'all are a little bit younger than us, mm-hmm. and let me tell y'all, as you get older, this is a fact. Your sm- your circle of friends is yes. gonna get smaller and smaller. Sure, sure. Yeah. Isn't that true? Yes. And the ones who are your real friends are the ones who are going to end up sticking with you. So mm-hmm. you need to just, at, at an early age, start cutting that fat.
that. Hold each other accountable. Absolutely. You need someone to say, yo, what are you doing? Check, you know, because if you don't, you're going to end up looking like a fool. And then they're the ones who are going to be like, yes. "Yes." From the jump, she held me to a higher standard. And it was either meet it or get left behind. And I wasn't going to get left behind. I love it. I I saw it for what it was. Her wanting to elevate me. Her wanting to meet. Her wanting better for me. She was chaos when I saw a lot of potential. Oh, okay. Aww, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, a good effort. it's a great story. Great story. Thank and you. this this is what we take this opportunity to slow things down to get those yes. edges into the people's yeah. reality. And I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about our sponsor. Yes. One of our sponsors, superfunkyfresh.com. You can go to superfunkyfresh.com and get your haha cinto gear just like this. Nice. Don't forget that you're supporting starving artists, the um, specifically <laughs> some of our favorite artists. Um, there was a I don't know if y'all heard, but yeah. there was a fire recently. Yes. Yeah. At the Winter Street yeah. Studios. This, this brings us to 2022. Yeah. Things that happened in 2022. Things that happened in 2022. Things that, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. True. And this is like, these are really, this, these are my brothers, mm-hmm. uh, the twins. And so. I love them. They they're amazing. They're they're a pillar of Houston hip hop community. Yes. Like everybody knows these guys. And so for them for someone to come and and burn their studio down, it just hurts so hard. But on the other side, we look at the other side of that coin yeah. and that this is an opportunity to create something bigger and better. It's, a rebirth. Right, exactly. Yes. So right. go to superfunkyfresh.com and get your gear. Yes. A bunch of new stuff. Yes. A bunch of new stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. A bunch there's, of new there's stuff. blogs. Yes, yes, blogs it there. The, uh, the fitness bl- blogs, uh, yeah. uh, uh, business blogs. Yeah, yeah. I meant, um, meant to uh, do funding for the nonprofits in the local environment okay. too. Right. So it's a bunch of little coordinations that we're working with the twins. Even though their studios burned down, they're still working on yes. these projects. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. Is Where can I check out Super Funky Fresh? Super Funky Fresh.com. Super Funky Fresh dot com and then on February eleventh we're having a uh, event. Uh, we don't know exact. Are we? Are we still on that? On that? Yeah, place? it's in the event calendar. That's there. Okay. Just so it's called it Bad Astronaut. Have y'all been to Bad Astronaut? No. no. So uh, have cool. you heard, have you heard of uh, Rabbit's Got a Gun? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's down the street. Okay. Oh, it's called it. it's called right. Bad Astronaut. All right. So it's in the event calendar. Yeah. Go and check so it. Has uh, it's, oh. the, check the links we'll in the description, there. folks. We'll You'll be able to see there. all that. We'll make sure y'all can be there. And and also, uh, we're gonna have all of the artists who lost something in the fire come and put their artwork there. So it's a really big deal. They used to do this thing called Second Saturdays where they would open up all the students studio doors and people would come and enjoy all the art but now that's burned down mm-hmm. they don't have that so right. this particular place shout out to bad astronaut thank, thank y'all you. for hosting us mm-hmm. um and so we're gonna have the event there we're gonna be uh we're gonna be music there's gonna be food uh i'm gonna be telling jokes you should tell some jokes too I should. Uh, I should. Uh, yeah, so, so one of yeah. my side quests in life uh, um, is to be a comedian. What? And it's because I'm the funny one in the friend group. What? The one who pushes me to pursue this. Yeah. I have a little bit of stage fright, but just give me a little bit of liquor and I should be fine, right? Gotcha. You're yes. still a bartender. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you cannot come to me and say, I want to do this because I'm going to put you in the path and talk the yeah. people to do it. So she was like telling me, like, yeah, I want to do it. And so I was telling you, oh, yeah, my girl, she tells jokes. <laughs> oh. You know? All right. Uh, 2022, things we did on our end, on yes. our end, on our yeah. end. Yes. We got raffles and prizes. We gave up a bunch of stuff. Right now we have a, a jersey that we that we that we raffled and we're just trying. Well, to, we we have the winner. And we we're just trying to, trying to get him. Well, no, because he, yeah, people like free stuff. He's okay. a he's okay. there. He's got it. We, we got a camera. Well, he's a, he's a UPS driver. Right. So he's moving so around. We're trying to. He's literally <laughs> moving, and we're trying to. Find, <laughs> we to like, where are you? I'm gonna be at this, yeah. corner, this corner. Yeah, like, exactly. we need to get him to drop order something, and he needs to bring it here. Oh man, yeah, that's how you get a hold of him. That's a good idea. We offer consulting sessions with other professionals. Those are adding. We're we're including as we need more folks, we get more exposure and things of that nature, we're tying them onto this membership so nice. folks can get this access of other professionals, so it's not just, just me or just Sacinto or just the other professionals that we're already working, more like an extending network of these professionals. Okay, yeah, nice. cool. And uh, what else? The Astros Jersey Nutritional Guide. We have a professional that offered a nutritional guide just for sending out to the episode. That Through all that research that you did, she would have compressed it for you. Mm-hmm. Correct, right. correct, correct. You know what I mean? And I so we, have, like we have an episode where it gives you some of this information. Just real quick, um, what would you call them? Uh, like uh, even the definition of information, like what is this? What is this? Oh, right. there's two types of this. Oh, people tell me this. Oh, I'm very you know, thorough. Yes, very thorough for the one hour episode. And then on top of that, communication so you can get uh, uh, the nutritional guide from the professionals. You know, uh, th- this is the level of interactiveness. Now, that was a year ago, and now we're moving even farther in with it. Okay, awesome. mm-hmm. all right, cool. So, what else do we have? We had some discussions, very interesting discussions. What is money? 
Like people, you think you know what it is until you dig in deep. So, so this episode uh, allowed us uh, to go through this process of, oh, it's not really this, it's this. It's this. This is a mechanism. It's a tool. Mm -hmm. Why are we arguing over this tool that we can yeah. easily have? So in that episode, I came to that a little bit of the realization. I love that. Uh, what else? Consult so, so with a health and professional sport, sports analytic. We predicted the future. So. We, did. <laughs> we made a shit out of money. short statement. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we went through several predictive scenarios yeah. on the Astros games, on nice. the basketball games. The so Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, correct? We had a dog pick the Super Bowl. We were right. <gasps> oh, correct. my God. Yeah, correct. The World Cup, Our we had a scenario. Yeah, yeah, for real. There's an episode that was a dog. Yes, yes. Yeah. We, we, on top of that, uh, introduced the concept. I didn't introduce it. So keep in mind, it's not us doing it. We're meeting people. Right. Yeah. We're gathering right. the data. Gathering all this information. Yes, correct. And right. So um, so we were able to create a scenario where we were more accurate than like FIFA and like the ESP. Yes, Oxford. Yes. Yes, yes correct. Yes. So it's all. Where well, there's a will, there's a no, way. No, literally, yeah. if you go to bed, channel. if yes. you would have put money in all these things we told you to make, we, you would have mm -hmm. like made tons of money we i only yeah. put a little bit of money here and there but this Should year we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go hard let us know yeah. let yeah. us know we have a lot of information now yeah. so we're well, excited you know it's one of those things where yeah. you don't know where <laughs> the reality is and when you look back you go oh man reality is subjective you know what i mean yeah and so that's, that's another factor that we also learned about okay yes uh yes. cryptocurrency took a little bit akashic records are you familiar with yes. akashic records yes, yes, yeah yes, yes. so we have we're, we're working on, a, on an akashic records reading we're, we're not really? quite there just yeah. i'm very much interested really Okay. Yeah. We would but like to possibly do that because we were hoping on having someone yeah. get it, get it done to them and yeah, us yeah, yeah. be Correct. around. Yeah. So we have a, we have that situation potentially available. We have to communicate, com uh, connect, and then you know see if that's something that's that's correct, and then we'll, we'll go along those lines. All right. Shout out to Fat Tony. This is his music that's playing right now yes. in the background. H Town. Check out down. the episode, the Fat Tony episode on yep. the Premium Advantage on YouTube. Yes, right. This is my favorite song, my Fat Tony song. Okay. We also have. Um, uh, the, the present future of education, we have a, a topic on that one. That was awesome because it gave us some perspective about what's really happening. Oh, the vice principal. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, some sad things that happened. Pelé passed away. Pelé passed away. Rest in, Rest in peace. peace. Barbara Walters passed away. Rest, Rest in, in peace. peace. Mr. Uh, the Pope Benedict, uh, he's the first Pope to resign ever. He's he wasn't a Pope at this time, but he, he was passed right. away. It was so. the first time that a Pope buried a Pope this time. Oh, wow. Yeah, the very first, first time, time ever. A lot of usually they have to die. I've seen a video of this. It was like he was out in the open, right? Like open. Cast, mm, yeah. It's usually a big glass. I scene. saw a video yeah. on, yeah. on Twitter, and it was millions like, wow. of people come to that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we are learning, right? We are yeah. we're gathering this information as we, we, you know, we gather our resources. And something that I learned in this episode is that if we collaborate, and we have proper information, we should have. We should be able to make better decisions yes. than we just gather from like top media companies exactly. that they just kind of gather and they just, uh, you know. What are subliminally marketing to you into like zombiness? Yeah. <laughs> if you that makes any sense. Zombiness. <laughs> you guys are making the connect. <laughs> Correct. Crazy attempt to this. Not only are we making it, we're trying to use next level communications yeah. with regards to this. So uh, we appreciate you guys uh, taking the leap into it, going, oh, follow this link and jump into it. Yes, it's the nature. Please. We need, we need, <laughs> we need, we need it to be efficient. Otherwise, yeah. it, it, it takes more time. Other things happen. You know? Mm. 2023, episode number one. Woo! <laughs> Flash episode number 10. It's a flash episode number 10. And then also, uh, we have the next episode coming up this week. Things to come. What do y'all got for 2023? Oh, yeah. We got about maybe 10 minutes, I guess. What so, do you got for 2023? 2023 is definitely going to be the year that we find our property. We're going oh, to find okay. our new property. We would like to, uh, if not move into it, if not find it and move into it, then have our whole plan listed out for this property. You okay. know, um, everything that we look to do in here, um, the square footage that we yeah. want, uh, the type of lease we want. A lot um, of exponential growth. You know, we, the way we moved um, the first two years, it's going to have to be like five times harder. Yes. Five um, times harder. At least. The crack oh, energy term. Go a little bit of context about the Kraken. We don't know what we had equipment malfunction is what happened. Yes. And when yes. these are flow through episodes, there's no time to go back and explain what happened. We were Absolutely. in the middle of explaining or having fun with the crackhead show. <laughs> so when we coined this term, yes. my ship would tell me, activate your mental crack. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it's all mental. Don't, yeah, internally, but don't, don't really go. Uh, it's placebo. <laughs> yeah, placebo. Placebo. <laughs> placebo. 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 Got it, got yeah. it, got it. That's yeah. good. That's a great, great way to better represent what's For happening. For sure. Yeah, and your mental I, placebo. Placebo. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell her that. You weren't. That's a placebo. That's going to be my new uh, DJ name. DJ Placebo. No, in the mix! Y'all better not steal DJ that. It's already in the show! DJ Placebo! <laughs> 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 
working. <laughs> it's working. It's working. I get it. The equipment is working. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. So yes, we're talking about the high energy for the initiative. Yes. You know, that's what gives you that initiative is the high energy. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what were we talking about then in the first place? Because we went well, on. It's because it sometimes, like, that's how we started our business. Yeah, the first right, right. six months, we yes. had we, we, we. nothing but crackhead energy. Yeah, like, we it. had oh, nothing yes. to lose. You're saying you want to get back to that? Good years. health yes. energy. Good, healthy I want energy. to repl replicate that um, today. A lot of times, when you establish, you know, your business, you set the foundation, you get comfortable. We've gotten a little comfortable. We haven't yeah. really done any advertisements lately because yeah. these clients they're booking themselves. They book themselves. They our, our Google right. SEO is up. We're such yeah. an e easy Google search yeah. that the clients book themselves, and yeah. we got comfortable. It yeah. felt like we didn't have to put in as much work in nice. the beginning. It is constant. It is constant, it's so constant moving forward because you, you guys are doing it. You're not the only ones. This is what happens. Yeah. So there's another. Layer of value that has yes. to be created. This is all, this all of this is the nature of that situation as well on our end with regards to insurance and taxes yes. and things of that nature. Nice. Self appointments and not everybody's yeah. doing is like, hey, you know, we still gotta have more value because yes. other things are happening. And and yeah, here, when the wheels start turning, yeah. you know, you just you're here for the ride. Yeah. But it's no, we want to go full force. You know, yeah. we want that crackhead energy. <laughs> Good and healthy energy. No, is it <laughs> crack or meth now? <laughs> no, no, it's neither. It's neither. No, because I heard this story about a lot of people. People on meth going like like ham all night like like uh, this 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 uh, soccer mom. She was supposed to have made all the jerseys for the soccer uh, match the next day. Yes. So she she got on her meth and like stayed up all night long and just made soccer jerseys like oh my crazy. God. Like do we have to shift to meth head energy? I think that no, 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 I think it's no. I think it's like evolved. No, no, we're not evolving. It's tea. Tea. Yes. Tea is fine. This is all you need, really. Caffeine. A little tea, tea a little tea energy. is fine. Tea energy is good. Yes. You know, actually, you a common question we get is, me and this girl, we, we like to go out, we like to experience our nightlife, and we like to start our day at 8 a.m. sharp the next day. And people ask, how do you do it all? How do you balance it all? And I tell them, we're just so excited. That's like, what it's about. We're yeah. so excited. If you love to, what you yeah. do, it should be like that, right? That's how we are about this podcast. I couldn't wait this morning. I'm like oh, so excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And I was up. Like, I, I couldn't up sleep last morning. night, y'all. Like, I, I went out. Honestly, I got home at five, but oh that's God. a whole different story. <laughs> right. Um, can I do a current event real quick before, sure. we, before we finish yeah, off? 2023. Yeah, 2023 current event. I'd like to give a shout out to Damar Hamlin. Yes. Y'all know Damar Hamlin? Yeah. So yes, his, yes, he's, yes. he's a very popular person right now. Mm -hmm. He's that uh, Buffalo Bill player that oh, yeah. that almost that, that literally yeah. died on the football Had field. Had a heart attack. Yeah. How do y'all uh, feel about football and like this whole um, the term coming up? The, the words coming up now are like they should cancel football because people oh. can die. Yeah. What do y'all What do y'all feel about that? So I feel like that was like a kind of a freak accident. Mm -hmm. If you look at how all the doctors are trying to analyze everything that happened to him. His heartbeat was just at a certain wave when um, he was hit in the chest. Yep. Um, and the chances of that happening is probably like one in a million. I'm not positive, yeah, yeah. but I don't right. think it's reason to cancel a sport that built a nation. Yeah, if anything, beautiful. it should open up the door perfect. to uh, more precautions, more, I guess, making sure that the player's health is okay. And like she said, it was kind of like a freak, ac freak accident, but there can be more measures yeah. put in place yeah. to protect the players so that there doesn't have to be yeah. cancel the whole thing and the yeah. whole thing. That's that's a hard one because I like so I played college football. Like, mm -hmm. I, I played football since I was six. Okay. Like I, it, it's been my my thing, and I coach football everything, right? And for me, it's hard because I'm a little bit worried for how I'm gonna be when I'm like 50 and 60 because oh. the, the the brain. Because yeah. I was I was one of those guys that would launch my body at people. Yeah. I was this I was that psycho dude who would like on, on kickoff. Yeah, thank you. Meth head energy. T head. T energy. T head. So if you know in football, the, the kickoff is when they start the game, <laughs> right? And they go and everybody runs full speed and tries to murder that person. I was I would literally torpedo myself at people. And so I've had a lot of concussions from playing football. Oh, wow. So I'm I'm worried about it. But on the other side of that, you said it perfectly in that that was the most freak thing ever. Yeah. Because Everybody, every professional athlete who talked about this situation said the same thing. And what I said is the same thing. I've never, ever seen that before. Never, yeah. ever heard of that before. In the 90s, there was a situation where kids were dying, having heart attacks on the football field. But that's because they were taking ephedra. Remember ephedra? Yes. So ephedra was this, um, there was this, it's a root that gets you like, 
uh, tea head energy. I was gonna say tea head. it. I was gonna say it. It gives you tea head energy, um, and it's like they sell it naturally. But kids were taking it. Uh, people were were taking. Adults were taking it to lose like hella body fat. Mm -hmm. But then kids were taking it, and their hearts were revving too hard, and then they were oh, dying on on sporting. Like, it wasn't just football. It was like soccer, yeah. baseball, everything. So. I've never heard of it before. It was a freak accident, but on the same side, it's hard to, it. it's hard, not a hard, it's definitely hard to ignore it, but it's, it's hard to police it and it's hard to make it safer right. because when you got to think these, I know for a fact, when I'm flying in the air <laughs> and a torpedo, it's almost impossible for you as, if, let's say I'm trying to torpedo you, right? I'm like, Ooh, yeah. it's impossible for you to like perfectly position yourself yeah, here sure, sure. so that you don't hit my head, gotcha. right? You know what? It's impossible. You I'm just brought it, you yeah. just brought it in. Let's try it. Hold on one second, hold on one second. First, keep this in mind. This just happened. 2023 is a new, uh, the new ways of communicating. Yes. Mm -hmm. What we've been doing, which is what we talked about, I don't know why you're sitting down. This is the standard section. <laughs> yeah. Is that the equipment that we have allows for us to move around? Like we have been sitting down at the limitation. Oh yes. Okay. Now, just okay. slow to correct. We've been asking folks to look around the room. Correct, correct, correct. And I don't think they're doing it. So what correct, we decided correct. to do now is we're just going to walk around just the walk. room so that y'all have to. Yes, correct. Yes. Just because right? because it's a nature of, of the of the exercise. The nature of the exercise is walking around, around, moving. That because so good. It's, an, it's a new technology situation. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So we are we're accustomed to using the technology as we have been seeing it and it's like whoa there's more la there's more layers to this whole situation you know it's like I mean? a glass onion yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I because we're also going to be talking about movies in 2023. What? We're talking about reviews. We're talking about. I heard a rumor yeah. that we have a actual movie reviewer coming to our next podcast. Oh, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Right. It's subjective. Things are I'm happening. So excited. Yeah, no, y'all can take a seat. Jump around. Anymore, it's a test. Right? That's right. Oh, you're like, what's happening? Uh, it's because we're, we're still gathering dancing. the information. Go, oh, okay. It's a standing episode. Maybe later, some other time, a workout episode where folks can go, oh, oh, and then be inside of the experience. Yes. Click Ooh. the interactive links. You can get a live episode because we're starting to coordinate those once a month. Things, okay, things of that nature, okay? Or the workout, excuse me, once the workout. Yes. Yeah, right, correct. Yes. Cool, what else is happening? So we're standing, one week or uh, one week an episode, uh, so 52 episodes for the year. We're trying to get to 52 episodes. This is the first one. In the first yes! One. Oh my God, we're, we're honestly so flattered and so honored. We're going to brag about this for years to come. Awesome, that's honestly. what we're talking about. That's yeah. the type of situation that we're trying to create with, the, our, with regards to our community. People are not walking. We're like, hey, come exactly. on. We got we to we gotta step it up. Uh, tax season is here. Tax season is coming. Yes. We, it's actually here already. We're ready to go. I've done taxes. I'm already doing taxes. 20 years doing tax preparation. So we help people with a lot of stuff as they're building to minimize those yes. little errors they make as they go and things that they don't collect. So keep that in mind. 20 years. Now we have a team. It's not just me. We have a team of professionals ready to help. Okay. What else do we do? Oh, basketball. We're going to be talking about basketball, baseball, sports. So it's, we're not uh, one topic. We're raw topic. Today's Houston team. Rockets mm -hmm. are the worst team in the league. <laughs> But good news, we're gonna get the number one draft pick and get that monster kid, and we're gonna be badass next year. Yes! I'm excited. Cool. Social issues. We're gonna be discussing a little bit more social issues. One of the ones that I put on my New Year's resolution was try to introduce solutions for uh, to help with uh, uh, homeless folks, the homeless population yeah. in Vietnam. Yeah, correct. So I'm trying to move that message across with this tool while it's we're all necessary. at it. You know, it is necessary. It's one of those steps where folks are kind of like ignoring, expecting the government to do something, right, and right. it's like, oh, we can it's all kind of put fucking look at how we're gonna help. We add a, how we help you add a little bit of exposure to that issue, and, and we move forward with a little action. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, I make it sound simpler than it is, but with a little effort as opposed to yes. no effort, things get moved. You know what yes. I'm saying? Even All right. if we can't get rid of the whole issue at so hand, we yes. can help people. Minimize, correct. It will help people. You get more informed on that little process. Correct, correct. This is what we're working with. Um, I have a couple of more. What else do you guys have for 2023 as we close out this episode? 2023 and specials. We got coupon codes for the tax preparations. We'll share with y'all. Nice. What, what about uh, from y'all? What can we uh, throw to the audience? Hashtag Skin Club Hashtag Forever. Skin Club. Yep. Hashtag Skin, skin Club, Club Forever. forever baby. Skin Club Forever, yes. baby. This right. is only the beginning. Okay. Yes. Cool. This, this year we definitely want to drop new services. Yeah. I do waxing. So okay. uh, I do, you know, well, obviously in waxing, the Brazilian wax is sure, very sure, popular. Sure. So we're going to be offering vajacials. We're going to be offering body parts. Facial, uh, hold like on, back hold facials. on. Back that, say that again, please. But Jay Oh, shoot. It's you a You didn't catch that. Your <laughs> yeah. All right. But okay. I love <laughs> that. I've never heard that word before. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So we're also going to offer back facials. Okay. 
possibly butt facial. Okay, okay, for people who okay. got that butt. Would that be buff facial? Buff facial. Buff facial. Yeah. Buff facial. Buff facial. Buff facial. New words for 2023. We'll be coming up with new words for services. Yeah, <laughs> services that yeah. now it's streamlined. Yeah. Interesting. What an interesting exactly. situation. Service. Shout out to all those hairy people. Come get it taken off. Yes. Cool. The ones, Anything the else? Ones. Anything else? Everybody? Anybody else? What else you got? We're gonna have some comedy shows. Just go to our, our um, events page. We're gonna have the link there in the description for all of the events. We got fitness. We got comedy. We got art. Um, we're gonna have uh, possibly some midget wrestling. I'm kidding. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> little people. Midget wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please? <laughs> y'all wanna be? Y'all wanna be ring girls? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These events keep growing, getting bigger and bigger. We'll see how it goes. Or yeah, smaller and smaller, depending on where you're looking from. <laughs> POV, thank you very much. I'll be here all right. Cool. All right, man. Y'all have a good night. Thank you very much for seeing y'all. Thank you. Is that even right? Is that even right? <laughs>